that. I know. So <laughs> this right now is sunrise. sunrise. Yeah, I think 749. So we're about yeah, two minutes away. I cannot believe that. <laughs> yeah, so everything changes tomorrow, of course, once we get that time change in. I'm but looking forward to the extra hour of sleep. I don't know about you. I know. This is the, our favorite weekend as weekend morning news team is when we get an extra hour of sleep. <laughs> Here's a look outside. We're at 34 degrees in Greensboro right now, 36 in Winston-Salem, mid-20s in the mountains, upper 20s in the foothills right now. As we head through the next couple of hours, the triad gets to 52 degrees, but we've also got these winds here at 10 to 15 miles an hour, and that means that it feels pretty cool out there. The wind starting up this morning, that's helped to prevent some frost out there, but if you've got calm winds and those cold temperatures, you could see some spots with that concern. By 6 p.m., we've got a 20% chance for a couple showers here and there, so maybe a frosty, icy morning tomorrow as well. Even though those rain chances are slight, of course, it's happening very close to those overnight hours where temperatures will fall once more. We're at 37 degrees by 9 a.m. in the foothills, by 3, 53 degrees, and there the winds will most likely top out at 10 miles an hour, but still pretty breezy. You'll notice the foothills are warmer than the triad today, and that's because of increased cloud cover coming in from a low pressure system system off the coast. The mountains don't have any of those clouds from that low pressure system or the rain chances for that matter. So they get to the upper 40s, only a couple degrees below the triad today. Here's a look at the weekend forecast. 48 degrees in the mountains, 54 in the foothills, 52 degrees in the Piedmont with that 20% shower chance later in the day. Right now we've got a couple of clouds out there here and there, but increasing clouds as we head into the later hours of the evening and then a couple showers through the overnights. Again, it gets it's pretty cold after that rain passes through, so expect some cold temperatures to start off the morning tomorrow and potentially some frost. As we head into your Sunday afternoon and evening, we clear out and it looks pretty nice. By the time we even get to 645, temperatures are cool, but not uncomfortably so in most spots, warmer than they will be today at that time at the very least. Here's a look at our triad rainfall almanac for the month at this point. We are well below normal, over a half of an inch below normal for the month. And as far as the year is concerned, we've only got a three quarters of an inch excess in rain. So getting closer and closer to seeing some issues. Drought monitor reporting lots of issues out west and here in the Carolinas. We've got more of the state than last week that's abnormally dry and that's in that next category, which is moderate drought. No severe drought at this time which is the good news, but we also don't have many rain chances coming up here, so that could pose some issues for us. A 20% chance for today, a 20% chance for Friday, and that's it. We've got that time change in the overnight hours, so make sure before you head to bed tonight you change your clocks and also change the batteries in your smoke detectors. We do that every six months when we hit daylight saving time. Temperatures get to the low 70s by midweek. Next, more and more people are grabbing a paddle and hitting the court. What's behind the pickleball craze and why players say you could get hooked too.